I am Charles Kibi with the news on the hour on Television Nigeria. President Mamadou Buhari has written to the Senate seeking an amendment to a section of Nigeria's current Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama. In the letter, the President wants to preserve the powers of the Attorney General of the Federation to approve the registration of companies limited by guarantee. The Senate passed a bill to repeal and reenact the Kama law in May 2018 to, among others, make it possible for individuals to register their companies from any part of the world. The bill came 28 years after the passage of the Original Companies and Allied Matters Act and is expected to make Nigeria the best country in Africa to do business in. In addition, small companies will no longer be required to have a company secretary or hold annual general meetings and the requirement for statutory declaration of compliance has been also removed. Minimum share capital required for companies to be registered has also been reduced to encourage more investments in small companies while individuals will no longer need a lawyer to register a company. Tragedy struck in Aduke Street, Old Ojo Road, Ajegunle, in the Apapa area of Lagos State, early hours on Thursday when a, gas, when a field gas cylinder suddenly exploded, killing two children, while about 23 others suspend, sustained multiple bones injuries. According to preliminary investigations by men of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, LASEMA, the explosion was as a result of gas leakage from a gas shop in the area. Director General of LASEMA, Dr. Femi Oke Ashantiolu, said further investigations revealed that the fire ignited as a result of a phone call being made by an unidentified resident while escalated, which escalated the fire to other shops and a bungalow behind the shops. The board of the African Development Bank has approved the transmission company of Nigeria's TCN NTEP-1 projects in a board resolution in Abidjan. The NTEP-1 is one of the projects under the TREP financed by AFDB that is targeted at rehabilitation, targeted at rehabilitating and expanding parts of the transmission grid in the northwest, south-south, and southeast of the country. The project would reconstruct old transmission lines and build new ones as well as construct new substations, contributing to further increase in TCN's transmission capacity. TCN also noted that NTEP 2, which would execute projects mainly in the northeast and parts of the central states of the nation, is also in a pipeline and has reached advanced stage on the funding processing. The Nigeria Association for Young Adults, NIA, in Canada and U.S. has called on Nigerians to contribute meaningfully to the development of the country's health sector. The group's president, Shola Agbola, stated this over the weekend at Bida, Niger State, where they donated hospital equipment worth several millions of naira to the Federal Medical Center, Bida. He stated that governance is the responsibility of all and government cannot do it all, adding that the effort to develop the nation's health sector should not be left to the government alone to handle. He further stated that the equipment is the second this year coming on the heels of equipment worth 54 million naira earlier donated to the Abia state government, even as he revealed that Naya has donated equipment worth over $440 million to different hospitals in the country so far. The National Youth Service Corps has handed over a 200-level student identified as Rose to the Department of State Services for investigation. Rose, a 200-level journalism student at a university in Bene Republic, was arrested by officials of the scheme in Zamfara State Camp while undergoing the Batch C Stream 1 orientation course, which ended on Monday, November 26, 2019. She was alleged to have obtained a fake certificate from another university in Benin Republic to participate in the orientation exercise at the Zamfara camp. NYSC Director General Brigadier General Shuaibu Ibrahim, who confirmed the arrest of the student, stated that friends of the 200-level student saw her in an NYSC uniform on the social media when she was supposed to be studying journalism at a university in Benin Republic. Ibrahim said her institution wrote to the scheme when they discovered on the social media posting her photographs in the NYSC uniform in the Zamfara camp. 
The DG noted that the 200-level student has been brought to the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and handed over to officials of the DSS for further investigation. Nigeria Super Eagles has moved four spots in the November ranking to place 31st on the FIFA ranking table. In the ranking table on the website of the World Football Governing Body, Nigeria garnered 1,493 points as against 1,481 points gotten in October. The movement still helped the Eagles retain the third position on the continent behind Senegal and, Saint and Tunisia, who are placed 20th and 27th with 1,555 and 1,506 points respectively. The upward movement was as a result of their 2-1 win over the Benin Republic and 4-2 win over Lesotho in the Africa Cup of Nations qualifying matches. That's the news on the hour. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I am Charles Ibe.